everyone. You're probably all wondering, like Lauren, it's Wednesday, it's a work day. Why are you at home at quarter past ten? Why are you uh, filming on a work day? Well, as per normal, if you've been following my channel for quite a long time, Lexi yet again is uh, has to come home from nursery. <laughs> so I did a lateral flow on her this morning. So I'm talking about this, make sure I don't fall. Did lateral flow on her this morning. Um, I did one yesterday on her, um, all came back negative, took her to nursery and I obviously said to them, done lateral flows on her um, and they've all come back negative and things. The reason for this is because my sister has just tested positive yesterday. Um, so obviously we're a bit on top of lateral flows at the minute because we've been in contact with her um, on Sunday and then yesterday. Um, so yeah. Um, so I did lateral flow on her this morning, literally pinned her down and things. It was like the worst mother ever and I hated it. Told them and then they were like, oh, you need to go get a PCR test done. Obviously, like, they said it was fine when I first let her in. Because obviously, I went to work, took William to work uh, to nursery. And about 45 minutes later, they ring me up and say, can you come pick her up? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go pick Lexi up and take her for a PCR test. Um, Because what else can I do? <laughs> I was nipped home because, you know, again, I need to urinate, as I always do. I just put my lunch in the fridge. So, yeah, let's go take Lexi, pick her up and go take her for a lateral flow test. God, I really don't want to do this. I hate it. I obviously hated it this morning, but here we are. Off we go. Trying to find, as well, my car holder. And I had it a minute ago and now I've lost it. Anyway, I'm going to pick up my new CD as well while I'm here, put it in my car. It's there. Right, let's go. So I'm currently just sat waiting for my mum because my mum's going to come with me to try and calm Lexi down so I can maybe do it on her um, and things like that. Um, obviously mum's just going to sit in the front with a mask on and um, like basically calm Lexi down while I do it on her. Because hopefully, fingers crossed, that will uh, work. If not, then who knows. But yeah, that's about it really. So I'm just waiting for my mum. And it's really sunny and I generally cannot see at the minute. I do need to fill my wash fluid up quickly as well while I'm stopped. So let's do that. So we've just got back. Lexi's currently snuggled up on the sofa with her lunchbox. Um, she was sick in the car, which wasn't great. Uh, glad that my car is leather interior. Um, yes, sweet pea. Oh, I don't know. Should I get it off? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, can't get it, can't get it, can't get it. I'm falling. <laughs> there you go, sweet pea. So yeah, she's got her lunch, so I'm gonna go have my lunch now as well, from what obviously I made for work. Um, I just sort of relax for the rest of the day, I think. Cause there's nothing else I can really do. <laughs> oh God, I really couldn't afford a day off work. But obviously my kids' health comes before anything at all. So yeah, that's about it. I'm just rambling on, really. I think I'm just vlogging for the fact that I wanted content. <laughs> but who knows? That's about it, really. I really can't see. So yeah, I'm gonna sort of. I was gonna get some comfies on myself, but I feel like if I get some comfies on, I'd lose my motivation, sort of thing. If that makes sense, because with Lexi being poorly, I could possibly get on with a little bit of housework that may or may need doing. I don't really know. Yes, Lexi. Yes, Lex. Yes, I will do. Just give me two seconds, okay? And then I'll open them. So, yeah, she'd get Lexi a sick bowl just in case she's sick again. Which hopefully she's not going to be, but let's find her one anyway. So, Lexi has took herself up to bed. Well, I've took her up to bed because um, she do not want to be down here. She just wants to go upstairs and watch Paw Patrol on her telly. Um, so, I'm just going to sit down here, catch up on a bit of EastEnders and basically just listen out for her if she needs me. So yeah, it's horrible, her being poorly. I hate it. She's honestly so poorly all the time, like mainly sick all the time. I don't know if anyone else's kids are like it. Like, she's just always off nursery because she's got some sort of tummy bug. But I don't know. Who knows? Um, here's what it is. Cannot be helped. We'll have to wait to see what her results say. Um, so yeah, that's about it really. I'm so tired. I think because obviously I was up at normal time, like six, ready for work. And then I've come home and I've now stopped that 
um, honestly I could just fall asleep myself also I'm not going to because you know I need to look after Lexi um, but yeah I'm honestly so tired now um, myself that's about it really um, I'm going to do some fajitas I do believe for dinner tonight um, or a garlic chicken I don't know which one I'm doing yet who knows we shall try we shall see even not try um, so yeah that's about it I guess I don't, really know, I don't really got anything else to update you on or anything else really to say um, because yeah it's just one of them days I was in the same predicament two weeks ago this is so yeah the last time Lexi was sick was two weeks ago this is what I mean by she is literally at home more than she's at nursery um like this time they've actually asked for a PCR test whereas last time she was literally just sick um but yeah it's been two weeks and she's now throwing up again I'm, I'm just really confused part of me if this test comes back negative doesn't know whether or not to take her in at the doctor's because is it normal for a child to be as sick like physically sick as what Lexi is because she, yeah she just always seems to be physically sick who knows I really don't I just know what to do just want to wrap her up in cotton wool cotton wool is that what it's called yeah bubble wrap cotton wool whatever you wrap them up in <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on and catch up on my soaps while I'm keeping warm with my little uh, fanny to go in on. So, Lex has just come downstairs with the paints and has asked if she can paint. So, I'm going to set her paints up for her um, on the table quickly um, and let her paint. Of course, you know, she's not a nursery. I haven't got William and stuff, so I can paint with her, keep her happy. Um, she seems to be feeling a bit better she's a bit more bouncier within herself but unless Lexi's really really poorly nothing really knocks her off of her feet as such um so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna have a bit of a painting afternoon it's 25 past three so hopefully obviously Kira won't be much too much longer coming home from work and things I'll be starting on dinner shortly anyway um so yeah I'm just so tired I know I said this in the last clip but honestly I just feel like I could flop so that's about it i don't really know what else at least tomorrow it's an on-nursery day and an on-work day again so i can do whatever i've missed out on doing today tomorrow because i was going to do some housework but while lexi's poorly i didn't exactly want to i just thought what should be close to her i know she's been upstairs and stuff but i wanted to make sure that i was pretty much on hands and stuff with her so but yeah i'm just gonna get on and do some painting with one another what i'm currently doing i'm currently playing karaoke with lexi's frozen thing we're currently uh taking it in turns doing a frozen thing lexi stop moving so i have to keep moving this because she's got no pants on <laughs> so we can't have her in so yeah this is what we're doing we're having a bit of a sing-along at the moment this is what i mean by she's uh definitely brightened up haven't you Rudolph the red nosed reindeer yeah, had a very time. shiny nose. It's my turn. Your turn. Is it not Mummy's turn? And if you ever saw it, you it's might even say now. it glows. Can I? I hold it. Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a shiny oh, nose. A shiny nose. A shiny nose. What's the words? What's the words? I don't know what the words are. Just a girl, I'll her name. And this is so damn. Had to keep tonight. Well, that's a word of the next video. Oh, my turn. No, my play with me. Oh, we can play with your play doh now. Oh, okay. That's it. I don't have to sing Rudolph the Red Nails Reindeer. Play with me with my play doh. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being weird and then put this thing away and play with some play doh. So it's currently quarter past ten and I've not generally vlogged anymore because you know Lex has just been that ill that I've just sort of left her. She sort of like took her another downhill bit. Um 
and things like that. And obviously, then Kieran came in from work and we had dinner and this, that, and the other. So, yeah. I'm now only just picking up my camera again to sort of update you all. Um, so, yeah, she still feels quite warm. I've not been able to take her temperature just because I've lost the thermometer. I was waiting to find that out as well. And hopefully her results come back tomorrow. But I did get an email from nursery at about, I think it was about 8 o'clock, to say that they had a positive case on Friday. Um, and Lex's nursery day is obviously on a Friday. And she came down with a runny nose and stuff on Monday, which is why I then took lateral flow tests. Um, so part of me has got no hope that this is going to come back negative but we can only see and we can only hope that it's generally just a cold that she's got um her nose has sort of stopped running now which is one thing um so yeah i'm just going to carry on my vlog from today into tomorrow um then you've got like a two day vlog sort of thing and just a bit of a day of what i'm doing these past two days um so yeah that's about it i guess so yeah, I have just ordered as well my first HelloFresh box, mum had a discount code for me, so I have ordered that, so that's going to come next week, so I will definitely do a couple of videos of me maybe making a meal from HelloFresh, fresh, fresh, if you'd like to see that then comment down below and I can do that, I don't know why I'll whip my finger, anyway, so yeah, if you'd like to see that then comment down below, um, but for now I'm going to settle down, go to sleep and I will see you all in the morning. Good morning everyone and happy Thursday. Mine and Lexi's uh, Covid tests have luckily come back negative. Um, I'm still testing on lateral flow tests just because it's advised that if you've been in contact with somebody to do so for seven days. Um, so I'm doing that just so obviously I can make sure I'm okay for work. I've also done another one on Lexi this morning as well just because she was coughing and blurting a lot but we're quite safe, we don't have it. Um, so she can re return back to nursery tomorrow and I can return back to work, which is fantastic news because I was, wasn't about ready to tell my boss that I needed 10 days off. Um, but yeah, this morning I'm simply just in the kids' bedroom, just giving it a bit of a tidy up because Lexi was a bit of a pain last night. She couldn't sleep. Um, so her bedroom's a bit of a mess where she's sort of got things out and tied and started like tidying. No, I wish she was tidying, playing. So I'm just quickly in here having a bit of a spruce up in here for her and William today um they're con currently in my bedroom watching a Peppa Pig um so yeah we've been up about eight half eight um well the kids have been up since half eight I've been up since about quarter to eight um so yeah that's about it really so let's spruce up and ignore the fact that I've still got yesterday's makeup on because I've not got ready yet I'm just gonna tidy up first and then get ready because what's the point of getting ready and then doing your makeup and stuff no and then tidying even. I don't know. It's still early in the morning. I mean, it's really not, but it is. So, yeah, that's about it. So, she had to make her bed because she wanted to sleep in William's bed last night. So, all of her bedding is currently in William's cot. So, she had to add all that back on there. Well, then that's about it, I think. And, yeah, let's just have a bit of a spruce up. I've just made the kids some lunch and then I'm just going to flip through my pinch of non books now to see what me and Kieran can have for dinner tonight. Um, so then me and Kieran are going to have some chicken for dinner and then the, I bought Lexi this unicorn pasta um, from B&M the other day. So she and William are going to have that for dinner. So me and Kieran are going to have some chicken. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to do for it at all that's about it really um lexi's doctor's appointment is at two i can't remember if i mentioned this um so obviously i'll update you all on that and see what the doctors say can you make that nicely please pop it no my brother well go give it to your brother then if you don't want it go give it to william um so yeah that's about that to be fair um I don't really know what else to say other than I'm starving and I don't know what to have for my lunch. I think I might have a tuna melt, in all fairness. Um, so yeah. I always think I might make a chicken tuna pasta salad for mine and Kieran's dinner tomorrow for work. Um, I mean, can tuna and chicken go together? I don't really know. 
because um, I'm making pasta for our dinner tonight anyway as well um, so I don't know I might just make some more up and um, add it into our lunch boxes tomorrow I think I don't really know I'm just rambling on I'm creating content I do this all the time I just waffle on about anything one minute I'm on one subject the next I'm on like a different subject I've gone through about 20 different subjects in about a minute and I'm really sorry and I really apologize for doing so um but yeah that's that um I'll see what Kieran wants for his lunch tomorrow and I'll see if he thinks tuna and chicken will go or if he just wants a tuna salad tuna pasta salad or a chicken pasta salad we shall see um but yeah for starters though i'm gonna go make myself some lunch because i am starving i've gone back onto my last clips um to see if i actually spoke about the doctor's appointment that i've got for lexi but turns out i actually didn't so if you've been watching me for quite a while you'll know that lexi is forever off sick from nursery because she has physically thrown up um not because she's got a cold this that and the other it's simply because she's physically throwing up um, I started my job two weeks ago yesterday and I was there for 45 minutes before I got a phone call to Alexia had thrown up. I was then there for 45 minutes yesterday, again, before Lexi had, well, yesterday it was just a temperature, but then she was also sick at the same time. Um, that's why she was, so she went home from nursery with just a temperature, but then she was also sick while she was at home, which is why I'm so shocked that this hasn't come back positive. Um because nursery had a case on friday which lexi's days are on fridays and obviously we've been around my sister and this that and the other blah 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 but anyway we're negative that's the main thing um so i said to kieran i was like if this test comes back negative i'm going to book her in at the doctors and see why and see what they think as to why lexi is always throwing up because it's all right them to like nursery saying that she's got a bug or the doctor's turning around saying a bug but if she had a bug a sickness bug two weeks ago there's no way that she'd have been like i say there's no way that she could have caught one again but it's less likely chance for you to have caught it again in such amount of time um now if you watch my vlogmas again you'd have seen that lexi was literally at home more times that she was at nursery during december um and like even my birthday she was back because she'd thrown up like honestly i can count on probably two hands as opposed to one hand, how the time she's not been at nursery due to sickness in the past two months, which is crazy. No child should be off of nursery that much due to sickness. Um. So yeah, I just want to get to the bottom of it, like why she's sick all the time. Because me personally, I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it's a bug. I think it's something else. Because whenever she's sick, she's always complaining about stomach ache, um, and she's never followed by anything else. It's simply just her throwing up, um. Basically, I can tell the difference between Lexi if it's a bug and if it's just sickness. Because if it's a bug, it knocks her off of her feet and she'll snuggle up on the sofa with me, this, that and the other. Whereas if it isn't a bug, she'll just throw up and then she'll just get on with her day as if nothing's happened. And then, like, do it again and this, that and the other. Or she'll only throw up the once. Like, yesterday she only threw up once. Um, So I just sort of want to get down to the bottom of that and see what the doctors suggest or see what they think it is. I mean... The doctors might just turn around and say it's a bug why are you here um but me personally and me and karen personally think it's a little bit more than that um so yeah we'll see what they say and yeah that's that to be honest with you a quick update from the doctors um basically because she's well within herself today he said it was quite hard to like pinpoint if there was anything wrong just like him examining her from what he could do um however um he's turned around and told us that he agrees with me with the fact that i've said it's clearly not a bug with how often it's happening um so yeah that's that part he also asked if i had seen anybody medically anytime it happens and i said no just because i thought it was a bug um obviously when it was first happening however what's making me double guess this is because it's literally been two weeks between the last episode um so he said, Mommy, like, it could possibly... Sour yeah, just give me two seconds, okay, and then I'll be there. Um, he said that it could be IBS. However, IBS in children is really hard to diagnose, like it is with adults. He said that it possibly, as well, could be a migraine, um, that she's then being sick. But then, 
again it's happening more so at nursery than what it's happening at home and i mean i don't know how often the kids scream at nursery but these two scream a lot when they're at home um and it's not really happening as much at home as what it is at nursery i don't believe it's a migraine if i'm completely honest with you um but the other thing you said it could be is like mini water infections instead of like one big one i don't know why it's just cutting off but it is doing um so I'm just going to explain quickly now. Um, so yeah, he thinks it's like one, like mini water infections, just one instead of like one big one. So the best thing that he's told us to do is take a urine sample the next time she is ill and bring it into the surgery so they can test her urine. And then we're going to go from there um, and see what else it could possibly be. But there it is. This is about as much as what the doctor could tell me on that day. So yeah, still nowhere with answers. Anyway guys, we're going to end tonight's vlog here just because we've had dinner and well, I'm sorry about dinner, we had dinner like three hours ago because it's now like quarter to nine um, and I just need to try and settle the kids down because as you can hear in the background, they are not settling for us tonight. Um, so yeah, I just need to get everything ready for in the morning as well for work and school and then jump in the shower and fingers crossed we can all settle down. Hopefully the kids want to play ball and settle down as well. They've been to bed for two hours and they're just not settling down. So who knows, I've got no idea why because William literally had like a 20 minute nap today, if that, because obviously I put him down and then Lex had to go to the doctors. Um, obviously Lex doesn't sleep anymore. I have no idea what Kira is just too bad. Oh, oh. But yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to go and try and see if I can settle them down and basically just settle down for the evening for us all um so yeah i'm really sorry again i always say i apologize for my content and my vlogs and stuff like that but it's not always going to be fun and exciting sometimes it's just everyday life sometimes i generally just come on here for a chit chat with you all um so yeah that's about it i hope you liked t today's vlog and i will see you all tomorrow with another video don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i would honestly really like that 1k by the end of this year thanks for that gary so yeah, I will catch you all soon with another video. Bye guys!